Hello and welcome to episode 10 of my Dark Souls Let's Play. In the last video we were able to clear Anne Orlando, beat Ornstein and Smo, also uh, killed Havel, got his ring, and now we're going to be uh, venturing down into Darkroot Garden and Darkroot whatever, forest or whatever, um, for some maintenance stuff. Some people do this area like before Blight Town, but uh... I like to do it now, because I have to go here anyway, and as you can see, I'm actually wearing Ornstein's armor. I decided to go and buy this, and it's pretty much going to be the armor I'm going to wear for the rest of the game. I like it a lot. So we have to fight this Titanite demon down here, but he's going to be, yeah, he's probably going to be a joke at this level, at this point in the game. And I also, uh, picked up a, whoa, picked up a silver night shield. I wanted one of those earlier, and I wasn't able to get it, but I went and did some farming for souls, and I... Luckily found it. So uh, the forest, I guess, is another hotbed area for PvP. Um, see, this guy's really easy. Normally you want to watch out for like, his jumping attacks and uh, shooting lightning, but whatever. Okay, but anyway, forest is a pretty big area for PvP. Not necessarily the, the first part of the area, but there is a, a second part. And oh crap, I actually need to get something while I'm here. Um, there's two bosses in this next area that we can go to, and I need to beat both of them. Not, you don't really, like, well, you have to beat one. Um, the other one is not necessary, but it's going to make our life easier. Well. But we do have to buy something from Andre, and that is this Crest of Artorius. It's a key that will open up a door in the forest, actually. I can't actually remember what it's called. Dark root something. It'll tell me the name when I trip this, uh, whatever. Whatever this is. I don't know what to call it. But, uh, like I was saying, some people like to do this before Blight Down because there's actually enemies that drop moss clumps, like purple moss clumps and, uh, what is the other one? Blooming purple moss clumps or something? <laughs> These guys, actually. They'll drop them pretty, uh, pretty often, actually, so... <laughs> They're pretty good to farm. Darkroot Garden. Okay. And as you see there, they also drop blood red moss clumps, which is for uh, bleeding. I don't plan to spend like a whole bunch of time in this area, but they're uh, these guys are kind of sneaky. You'll see I'll kill two of them right here. Um, that guy was hiding right there. You just got to pay attention. They're not hard to kill though. I actually think there's an item around this. Yep. Half the time I miss that. And another one of my uh, little favorites up here. This orange sign is probably going to tell us. Try right. Uh, not what I wanted. Um, normally there's like an orange sign right here. Uh, it'll say illusory wall. You can mostly tell when they're like illusory walls are pretty obvious. But ta-da! Secret bonfire. Need humanity? Sorry for you, dude. So we'll light this bonfire and go ahead, rest at it. I doubt I need to really like kindle it or anything. We're just gonna make our way through this area, and if I die and fail, then poo poo to me. <laughs> uh, we'll make our way down here. Pretty much gonna skip most of, like the, the I don't know dumb parts of this area. There's, uh, you can go pick up items, but I'm going to skip exploration. Um, here's another trap, though. I think this guy says it. Be wary of lying in the ambush. Do you see these guys are just kind of hiding out? And once you pick up that item, they'll kind of get up and try to kill you. <clears throat> but you can just... Oh my goodness, stop swinging crazily. You can just take them out while they're... Oh. While they're still on the ground, you can take them out. That's right. Die. Guy will drop some more moss clumps, like I probably dropped one. Yeah, like I said, they drop them fairly often. Even if you aren't human or have any humanity, they still drop them pretty consistently. So this looks pretty menacing, but it's uh, nothing important. There's actually these uh, giant stone giants. That guy right there will fight another one. Um, they get up and then fight, but they're not really important. I think there's a... Ooh. There's this guy. I knew he was around here. He always seems to sneak up on me. Um, 
when you come over here, there's these uh, snakes on a tree gecko thing. You can kill them. And they can, they'll, they'll try and kill you if you get close enough. Like that item is kind of a trap. So we'll just kind of make our way through this area. No big deal. Um, the first boss we're actually going to go to is pretty close. And there's another of these gecko things. Kill him. And I think we're going to fight one of those uh, stone golems right up here. Yep, there he is. Okay. Can't attack him while he's getting up. Good to know. They do actually have a magic thing that like will slow you down. Which is really obnoxious. There and there it is. If you get close enough, you like can't walk very fast. It's um something like tranquil walk of peace or something, and it just makes you everyone around you walk slow, which is really dumb. But uh there's actually an NPC we can summon for this fight. The fight is just up these stairs, but uh right here we decide to summon Witch Beatrice. She will join us for this fight, and apparently, I've never summoned her before, I usually summon like other phantoms, but apparently she like pretty much tanks this boss, kind of like how Tarkus tanks the other one. Why were you hiding in the bushes? That kind of creeps me out. <clears throat> and I'm kind of banking on her, because if she fails, then I'm kind of screwed. Because you have to like really fight with ranged attack for this. Well, not the whole time, but for the most part. So, I don't know if we can see the but Oh, yep, there it is. It's the uh, Moonlight Butterfly. I don't know if there's cutscenes, so we'll just go in. No, no cutscene. Okay, but uh, that Moonlight Butterfly will come down and... It mostly spams, like, magic and stuff. So, we just gotta, like, stay away from it. Try and throw fireballs as often as we can. I only have four, so if I mess up, then I'm kind of screwed. And it does do this uh, homing soul mass stuff. And uh, crystal magic, whatever. What? Not crystal magic weapon. Uh, homing soul spear. And those needles. <laughs> which are pretty annoying. Beatrice, just shoot the crap out of That move, uh, there is one move where there's like an AoE. But that's only when it's... Can I hide behind this? That's convenient. Um, but that's only when it's like on the ground. So yeah, like I said, here it comes to lay down and we can pretty much one-shot it after that. And then it should drop its soul. Yep, soul of Moonlight Butterfly. Thanks, Beatrice. Um, we might be able to see her again, so... Peace out, homie. So we got a soul of Moonlight Butterfly, which you can use to make a... I think the Moonlight... Not Moonlight Shield, it's like a... Some crazy shield that shoots uh, crystal rings. <clears throat> when you wear it, you can't... Um, parry. Instead it does a, a ring that shoots out and it actually does twice the amount of damage of your right hand weapon. So if you have the shield in your right hand and you're trying to do it, it's not going to be very effective. But if you have it in your left hand, it, it's like super, super strong, but it also like has a low durability. What is it? I think it's the crystal ring shield. That's the one. It's a pretty cool ring. Uh, not, not ring, shield. A uh, little gimmicky, but whatever. And we're going to pick up an ember here. Okay, there we go. We got the Divine Ember, which allows us to make Divine Weapons when we go talk to Andre of Astora. And that's going to be useful later on, because there's a, a part in the game I showed you earlier, the Skeletons. Um, there's actually these Necromancers that will revive Skeletons uh, as long as you have or haven't killed the Necromancer. So if you don't kill the Necromancer in time, um, they'll keep reviving, unless you kill the skeletons with a divine weapon. So I'm pretty much going to go in there with a divine weapon and then kill all the guys and then kill the necromancer and then we won't have to worry about it ever again. <laughs> they will still respawn when you go to like the bonfire, but it'll make our lives easier not having to fight the same enemy over and over again. Because it, uh, it kind of sucks when you kill a guy and then move on to the next guy and the same guy gets up and stabs you in the back and you're like, what the crap? But enough about that. So, that was our first boss we had to fight. We'll probably go fight the second one right now because it's like really close and might as well. <clears throat> but like I was saying, uh, what is this place? Darkru Garden? 
is not necessarily the, the biggest place for PvP. It's this next area, Dark Root Forest, I think. I think it's the forest. Mm -hmm. So I'm just gonna rest of the bonfire real quick, and then we'll open up this door, and then probably die. Um, there's gonna be a whole bunch of NPCs that we can fight, but I'm just gonna try and run past them. See if there's a guy that can summon. No, nothing. Um, so there's a whole bunch of NPC guys. If you can, uh, I don't know if you can see any of them right now. Yeah, they're like hiding in the bushes and stuff. But you can see them halfway out there. Uh, some of them are invisible, and they are the uh, Covenant of Al Alvary. I don't know what it is. The uh, Forest Guardians. And we're just gonna run past them because when I get to this uh, the Covenant leader, I can join their Covenant and then pretty much be exempt from them killing me, and I can uh, f pass through here freely, which is not a problem. So talk to this thing, and they should. Uh, yeah. Okay. Okay, so basically what this uh, camp thing explained is that we are trying to get the Covenant of Artorias, which will allow us to walk on the Abyss. Um, the Abyss is actually a place where we fight another boss. It's actually the only boss we can go to right now, if unless we went and talked to Framp. We could put the Lord Vessel in there, and then we could go to four different bosses. We have to all fight them, no matter what, but right now we only have one option, because three of them are locked. So we need this Covenant thing. So we can walk on the abyss and fight this boss and then continue on with the story. And he's basically saying it's not here. What a lie. So we might as well join his uh, covenant thing just so we can, you know, stay away from them. So we're going to go ahead and join. Okay, so uh, with that Cat Covenant ring, we can actually be summoned for PvP. Um, when somebody enters the forest that isn't a part of this clan, they will uh, be invaded by me. But you have to be wearing the ring to do it, so... Nah, not we're going to do it right now. Um, let's see, out here is a new merchant. And, let's see, what's this, Shiva? I'm Shiva of the East, captain of the Brigade. Let's teach you the clan basis. No time to chat in the midst of fighting. Except there is little in the form of the rules. Look here. Fight and hunt as you like. Whoever's fastest gets to the ring. That's the thing. Only don't forget what Albina said. Traitors aren't given a second chance. Oh, that's about it. Don't worry. It's a good, great to have you. Alright, 
to do this. I don't want to talk about this guy. Um, tell me you're good. Don't for it. You'll be hunters as patient. What, what, what? Tell me you're good. Don't for it. You'll be hunters as <sighs> Okay, and then he has his little friend back here. With the fog ring. I think if you kill him, you actually get the dark wood grain ring. Um, I'm going to fight the boss first, and then I might come back and try and get that. Because that sounds pretty good. <clears throat> And we're basically going to make our way into the forest. There's not really any enemies to fight. Hopefully I'll get some summon signs out here. Doubt it, though. If not, I'll just go and fight the boss. Not a big deal. I really... This boss is pretty cool, too. Um, kind of sad that, sad that you have to kill him, but whatever. Gotta do is what you gotta do. So, as you can see, the door is over there. For the boss fight. And I think there's a ramp down here. Yep. Get over this ramp. Let's see what these guys have to say. Anything good? Need caster? Meh. Don't know what that means. Try trap? Try trap. Yeah, okay. Try. I'll try that real quick. What does that mean? Whatever. Oh, hey, sometime. Cool. We'll get this guy to come with us. Uh. And he looks like he has uh, the... Whoa! The dragon axe thing? That's pretty intense, dude. Cool. Good for you. And he looks like he was wearing stuff from uh, the demon ruins. The gold hemmed set pretty good set. Um, got a lot of fire resistance. It's very light though. Whatever. So we'll see if we get this guy some. Oh, yeah we did. Cool. Thanks, bro. Bow to our friend. Wood home. Hmm. Interesting. So we'll uh, pop open this door. And come through here. And as we uh, run in here, you'll notice a big kind of like grave thing, tombstone with a sword on it. And when we get to the sword, we'll get cutscenes. I'll shut up. Okay, so here we have Sif, the Great uh, great Grey Wolf. <clears throat> He's very easy. Um, the only problem is that spin move. For the most part, if you can stay under him, that's the safest place to be. He has like a couple of lunging attacks and like jumping flip things, but uh, for the most part, yeah, like I said, just stay under him. And you should be fine. The only, like I said, problem is that spinning move, that it does like two attacks. I can only block it if I have like a full stamina bar. But he shouldn't go down. He should go down pretty easy. Um, spinning. Nope. I think he has one more attack in this combo. Yep. And I'll miss. Spin, spin. I hate that jump away. It never hits me. Oh, it's, um, it's gonna hit me now, isn't it? But uh, it's just really obnoxious. So I'm gonna heal my dude. Aww, you dummy. Okay. Well, I'll just take on Sif by myself then. No big deal. Ah, how did I get screwed up? I hate the uh, sometimes the like auto targeting for this game messes up. Sad if I missed again. So I'm just gonna double hand my weapon. Oh, okay. Take a big hit. He's, uh, as you can see, not too strong. So he's not gonna give me too much trouble. That is the stupidest thing, though, that, like, 
I slice his belly. And I gut him like a pig, but nothing. It doesn't even bleed. What? <laughs> I'm just confused here. So we'll just stand under him, and then get a couple of hits off. I hate that spoon. I hate that spin so much. So I just need to heal up right now. Probably gonna do something crazy. Um, halfway through the fight, or like, yeah, near the end, he'll like start limping. Don't fall for that crap. Oh god. I'm trying to get a chance to heal. There we go. Yeah. If he starts limping, don't fall for it. There's not really a way you can beat this boss without killing him. Oh god. Got greedy. I'm gonna suffer for it. Watch your shield, you moron. Spin, please. So I'm just gonna take my time with this fight. I don't really care. I don't want to bother dying right now. Get some heals in. I'll do a dumb flip. <laughs> that move is terrible. It's the worst move I've ever seen. There's a free hit for me. <laughs> that stupid flip. Oh, okay, he's just being obnoxious now. <laughs> Keep flipping, buddy. Probably gonna start limping here soon. Oh god, I'm gonna get hit. He's trying to capitalize on my mistake. I don't think so, buddy. Eh, uh, tree blows, that's fine. See, there he goes, limping away. Um, he's just trying to fool you. That'll take him down. No big deal. And uh, you see, we get the Covenant Arbor Torius, which will allow us to do the Abyss Walking, Solo Civ, Humanity, Homer Bone, that's all good stuff. Um, is an item back here, I think the Hornet Ring, which uh, boosts, what is it, something with a bow, I'm pretty sure it's a bow, we'll check, just because I can't, boost critical hits, okay, never mind, not bow, I did it, yeah, you did, oh, <laughs> look at this guy, he's fighting stuff, yeah, do it, do it, dude, good luck, it's not a hard boss, the, the Dark Root Garden and Forest are not very hard at all. Um, the boss is to come now. It's gonna be quite a challenge. This is where it gets like, not necessarily like uh, hard. I mean, the game is already hard, but I mean, it just takes a lot more patience and a lot more time for this last part of the game. Because we're pretty much at the uh, late end of the game. Um, with these four areas left, they're all pretty long. They're like split up into two sections, and I have no idea where I'm going. They're like all split up into two sections. So you'll have the first part with a mini boss and then the next part and then a boss. And it's uh, kind of ridiculous sometimes. The only exception is the area that we're going to. Um, it's just this one small area. It's not very small but the boss for it is... the boss for all of them was kind of a jerk. Uh, just obnoxious. So talk to this guy now. He's always <laughs> I don't really care. I think if you kill him, um, you get the Dark Wood Grain Ring, which I kind of want, and I'm going to check real quick, because I'm not sure. Um, but hold on. Just just hold on. Bring it up the internet. Why won't the internet work? Probably should have checked this earlier. <laughs> okay, Ninja Bot.
bodyguard drops this bodyguard. It's difficult to see. Okay. Okay, so it's not actually uh, Shiva of the East that drops it. It's this bodyguard dude. So I'm just going to smash him a couple times. I may run to that bonfire real quick, though. I'm going to run to the bonfire. And then I'll probably say all that I said over again. <laughs> eh, I don't trust it. Eh, who cares? 57,000 souls? Can I, uh... Can I spare to lose that? No, not really. I can, but I can't. Uh, such a weenie. Whoa. Just got it lagged up a bit. That's not cool. Ain't no cool. Be wary of caster. Okay, thanks, dude. Wasn't aware. So, we'll rest of this bonfire. Level ups. Okay. And 13,000 souls. Uh, yeah, I don't feel bad about losing that. A lot less, though, and 57,000 souls. 13,000 is like killing 13 whatever dudes. Silver Knights, so. No problem. No problems at all. <coughs> Hopefully that guy did not leave or I'm gonna be pissed. Cause sometimes he uh takes off, goes somewhere else. Okay, he's still here, good. Um let's try and talk to him. Still won't sell me anything. Well, uh this place is gonna hate me in a second, so no big deal. Ooh, can I just kick him off the ledge? Doesn't matter now. I screwed that up. Oh god. That guy died though. Hmm. That's interesting. That guy died, but I'm not sure. I might try going back in there and see if the drop's there, or just edit this part out, because this is dumb. <laughs> this is really dumb. I wish you could, like, uh, re, uh, re key, rebind that, like, kick move. Cause that's dumb. I mess it up every time. Now, are these guys hostile? Yes, they are. They're very hostile. Okay. And I'm gonna get stuck in a tree, apparently. Cool. Doesn't make any sense to me, but okay. Oh, yes, there it is. I seize it. I seize it. Get away from me. Okay. Oh god. Just got backstabbed. <laughs> Can I hold more bone out of here? See if I can make it. <laughs> I did it. I made it. I'm surprised. Okay. We have the dark wood green green. That's cool. <laughs> I got the dog wood gang ring. Um, okay. So now I basically don't ever have to go in there again. And I don't really want to, so. And I got my souls back. That's funny. Um, does the extra. Does the dark wood grain rings, like. Not necessarily stack, but. Charge change the rolling action. What does that mean? Do I have to be lighter? I feel like I do. See, I don't. I don't remember these things. I never like played around with the dark wood ring. Just to try it, we'll uh, take up all our stuff for a second. Oh yeah, that's obnoxious. Okay, enough of that. 
Sorry, dude. I don't know if I have any like lighter armor I can wear right now. I don't really care though. Most things armor is my favorite. Let's put on the Havel's ring again. And now we're actually just gonna. Uh, I can pretty much end it here. Um, hmm. What to do? I think that's it, actually. Uh, yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll cut it there. Uh, thanks for watching episode 10. Stay tuned for the rest when we go and face off our, our next opponent. We're actually going to be heading down into New Londo Ruins. I'm um, not too excited about it, but it's got to happen anyway. So, uh, 